Tom Coughlin is out as Giants head coach. This news just brought to us about the last uh, half hour or so. Tom Coughlin having a meeting with ownership. So Tom Coughlin steps down today. I use that term because we bring in Kim Jones right now, who has the first words from Tom Coughlin since the news was announced. Kim? Yes, yeah, Scott, let's take a look at some of what Tom Coughlin's statement had to say when he said that he was stepping down as head coach of the New York Giants, adding, I met with John Mara and Steve Tisch this afternoon, and I informed them that it is in the best interest of the organization that I step down as head coach. I strongly believe the time is right for me and my family, and as I said, the Giants organization. The Coughlin statement continues, it has been an honor and a privilege to serve as head coach of the New York football Giants. This is not a sad occasion for me. I have spent 15 years with this organization as an assistant and head coach and was fortunate to be part of three Super Bowl winning teams. A Lombardi trophy every five years is an achievement in which we all take great pride. And Scott, the New York Giants have a press conference scheduled 10.30 a.m. Eastern, of course, Tuesday morning. Not only will Tom Coughlin be there, John Mara, Steve Tisch, the co-owners of this franchise, and general manager Jerry Reese. There's been local speculation, especially about Reese's job. His inclusion at that press conference, I think, gives us what we actually thought would be the case, and that is that Jerry Reese is safe. But I have to tell you, Scott, this will not be a popular decision, although not unexpected among players. We were in the locker room a bit earlier today. Eli Manning emotional, thinking that he had had the last team meeting ever, led by Tom Coughlin. Odell Beckham Jr. significantly saying, I love Tom. I love Coach Coughlin. He will always be my coach. Actually, Beckham shared a story where he used to think maybe Tom Coughlin didn't like him. And then he came to realize he just wants me to be as great as I can be. Coughlin, of course, his assistant roots as a wide receivers coach. And those comments really echoed everything in the locker room, Scott. On or off the record, I cannot emphasize this enough, given what we've seen happen other places, including Philadelphia. Not one player with one bad word to say about Coughlin. They absolved him as fault, saying we didn't finish as players. Often you heard them say, we love and respect him. So this is a big day for this organization. It doesn't happen here very often and a very sad day, Scott, as well. Uh, 